Greenhouse Home Improvement, Installers and Constructors of Biodegradable Waste Biodigesters. This video, I'm going to show you a typical program or project that we did that has led to a small problem and how we are trying to resolve it. We are at East Legon, right here in Accra. It's a five bedroom house, a modern design that has got a lot of rooms and a lot of toilets in it. This house particularly has some toilets that we had to do them and try and relocate them at some places in terms of the biodigester. When we came here, we had some toilet right here in this part of the, of the building. There were some toilets that were located here and the filling has been done. So all of it has been, has been covered, right? And then the others were running all the way. There are some coming from the top and some are down here. And the others were running all the way to this side of the building. And then we were asked to do the biodigester there. We wanted us to drop the line in terms of the wastewater into the drainage system, into the gutter. So that's what we did. But after the plumber came and then he had to do his work, we realized that the pipes that were there would not match it. So we had to come and try and see if we can lower the biodigester at least one foot extra to meet those pipes and then try and get it to match the drainage system as well. So that's exactly what we are doing whilst we are here. So I'm going to show you uh, what the process that we are going to take to do this and let you know that the good thing about biodigesters is that there's always adjustment that can be made. Whenever you do construct a biodigester, you have the option to adjust it to fit for purpose and make sure that whatever you are doing in the long run, the homeowner is somebody who is happy with the work. So let's go around. So basically, this is the space that we had to work with. Roughly four feet, four feet space. And then these are some of the toilets that are coming. This one is the visitor's toilet. That's here, it's right here. But then the problem that we face, obviously you can see this one has to go down because those that are coming from the back will have to try and match it. So it has to go down. Ideally, you prefer pipe to be like this, right? So that then you know that your level can also be picked nicely. Now most of these houses that we're working would like that by the guest to be hidden. We prefer them to be buried. Some they actually don't even want to see that. You don't want to let anything be there. You don't want to show anything. So sometimes when you go to the places, then you have to try and match it to what is that they are looking at. So when we got here, there was a toilet that was up. It was, it was coming from the top, rather. And we, but the pipe is hidden in the, in, the, in the wall. So it cannot be brought up to try and match what it is that you want to do. And then you have to do the biodigester here. We have actually dug around the biodigester. And the pipe that is there. John, can you please... Use your hand to touch that pipe. Yeah, you can turn. That pipe was supposed to be the inlet, and then the outlet is hidden down there. But because there's this pipe here, one is coming from the top of the building, you have to try and match it to get it. What it means is that this digester like, has to go down a bit so that we can get a nose level for it, and then we can also get the outlet that will go all the way to the drainage system. So basically, that's exactly what we are coming to give you. Either we place the biodigester on the block or we try and match it to make sure that we can get the level enough. The digester at the end will get missing, it will be lost. And then either we put blocks on it, we put a slab on it to match the final pavement, or we put the block down there and then read the biodigester to get the level that we want. So that's exactly what we are here to do. What I have come to realize with some of these words that we do is that sometimes there are complications. Because it's a new technology and a new system, and most of the plumbers are equally not adapted to how it works at the level of the height or the feet that's required in terms of getting the slope and the gradient right. Sometimes there are complications. So when you do some of these works, you are required to make sure either you try and match it and meet the standard, or in case there's an issue, you come back and then you rectify it. That's why when you do most of the work, you you be required to be part of the complete construction of the house in terms of the, the ground works being done. To try and match the level, to try and meet the level that you meet. So basically that's what this work is about. It's important you get it right. And then you make sure the clients or the homeowner is happy with what it is that you are doing. 
and then the technicalities that are involved are also matched to make it a perfect house. When it's all set and done and the whole place has been tiled, all pavement and everything has been done, then it doesn't look like they have to come and do some work on it because it didn't do the work well, it didn't work as well. This digestor has been there for the past six months. And now that they've got it to this level, and they are realizing this problem, it means we have to come back and rectify the problem that is there. And those are the things that come from doing some of these works. During the construction, this digester will have to be raised for the inlet to match one and also for the elevation to be able to be dropped into the wastewater line. So we had to remove all the slabs and then have the have it dug a bit down and we have to do some concrete at the base. We decided just to mix the mortar and then put the chippings down, then grind it firm it up a bit and then do some mortar work on it. Then we were also going to have to make sure that gradient or the wastewater to go out is key, that that must be met. And then we had to lay blocks. So we did the block work. It was just a coat, coat of block work, just to make sure that it becomes firm. And then we we're going to put the top slabs on them. So that's what we did. We put the top slabs on them. And then the prefabricated slabs, I mean, put on them. And then the patching was done. And then the greeting was done as well as the biodigester bed was laid. The key understanding in all this is that it's a biodigester reconstruction and you have to make sure that it's so in this particular case, we're trying to meet the inlet pipe that you can see the space between the pipe and the digester bed. It's not the ideal type, but then the situation you meet on the ground is what will tell me what you will have to do. So this is the inlet pipe. And this is the final outlook. This is the inlet from the outside. And then this is the final outlook of the digester, how it's going to be for the final groundwork to be done. And then remember the pipe is still going to go out. That the, the outlet was going to go out all the way to the drain system. So that's exactly what we did for this bio digester. Dreamhouse bio digesters. It's a channel dedicated to the construction of bio digesters. And for those who are interested in how bio digesters work, the next video show you the channel will show you how to construct a pipe digester and construct it properly.